Let's take a look at the chart action for Matic. All right, so here's what I'm looking at. Here's all the trend lines and stuff on my chart. Let's go ahead and delete it and we'll start from scratch. All right, so here's what I was looking at. We had an uptrend going like this. We broke this uptrend going to the downside right there. And what I did after that is I put in a Fibonacci retracement, something like this. And then the other thing I did was I was watching these resistance levels or resistance areas, should I say. Every time we come into this area, we're getting resistance and we could do a trend line. We actually have a couple trend lines. We have, we have this resistance right here and this resistance right here. That's one trend line like that. And then it got a little bit steeper. Let's do another trend line with this resistance and this resistance. You could even say that third resistance came into play too. So what I'm looking at right now is if we could break this trend line going to the upside, that'll be a good signal that we're starting to reverse or changing direction. Or we're gonna get a nice little move for Matic. The other, the only thing though, is we have this second trend line right behind it. So it's, we might break through this one, get rejected and have to bounce in here for a little bit before we bounce out of this bigger downtrend, should I say. Like I said, we have the Fibonacci retracement levels, the 38% level and the 50% level have already got broken through. So right now what I'm looking at is the 61 and the 78. Yeah, the 78, and these are sitting at 1.497 and 1.298, right here and right here. And we already wicked down to 149, and in general, I'm kind of curious if we got a little bit of support right here, and we're going to get a bounce and maybe get a reversal. But the other thing we can look at is if we zoom out a little bit, we also have a couple of other different uptrends. So we have support right here and support right here. Let's do a uptrend like this with this support and this support. Let's stretch this out. All right, so we have this uptrend right here that we have not broken through yet. So this, this hopefully, we can get some support on and maybe get a bounce last resort pretty much. I think if we break this one though, that will be like a bearish signal and we'll have to look at this area or this area and these are sitting at around 1.046 or .67. Let's not cross that bridge until we get there, but that's just something to think about. Hopefully we get a bounce on this or we get a bounce even earlier, maybe at this level right here or we even hold support right here and start going sideways and up. Like I said though, I'm watching the Fibonacci retracement level, so I might be putting limit orders at maybe 1.50 and maybe at 1.30, somewhere around there, right above the Fibonacci levels too. Like I said, it already wicked down and it looks like it's going up, so I don't know if it's going to continue to get support and move straight like that or break out of this trend, so we'll have to wait and see. It does look like we got a nice little red volume candle coming in though, so like I said, we're going to watch this trend line. If we could break that, then that's our that's the signal pretty much that we're starting to reverse in my opinion. And this is on the daily time frame. Let's jump over the Matic to Bitcoin chart. Okay, so here's what I'm looking at on this chart. We have resistance right here, resistance right here, and resistance right here. So I'm watching this trend line like that. And then we also have support back here. And we also have a big support right here. I like to watch this chart basically to see the trend, whether it's going up or if it's going down. If it's going up, it's good for Matic. And if it's good for going down, then it's good for Bitcoin. In my last video or my last time I was watching this, I was watching this uptrend right here and we broke that going to the downside. Right now, it looks like Bitcoin has been doing better than Matic for last couple weeks, I guess. So what I'm looking at is we can change this uptrend into a downtrend. Let's get this resistance right there, this resistance right there, and this resistance. All right, so until we break this downtrend going to the upside, Bitcoin is going to be looking better than Matic, but once we do break this uptrend, then we can start looking at Matic more. If we can break this uptrend going to the downside right there, what we don't want to do, or at least for Matic, we don't, Matic does not want to break this trend line going to the downside. If it does, maybe it means that Bitcoin is really taking off, but you would rather be in Bic if this chart is trending down, you'd rather be in Bitcoin than Matic. And if this chart is trending up, you'd rather be in Matic than Bitcoin. It's just making more money. Whichever one, whichever way this chart is trending, then that that's the one that's making more money. If it's down, it's Bitcoin. If it's up, it's Matic. Hopefully that makes sense. I got a question about the pairing charts and I still want to make a video completely talking about this. So yeah, the main thing I'm watching is this downtrend right here. I think if we could break this downtrend going to the upside, then we could start looking at Matic more and maybe some of that Bitcoin money will start flowing into Matic and it'll start pushing up. Hopefully we can get support on this side and get a nice little bounce. 
If we jump over to the total crypto market cap, this will give us an idea of what's happening with the total market in general. And what I've been looking at is kind of like a falling wedge or rising wedge, should I say? And we broke that going to the downside. So what I'm looking at, I mean, a target for a rising wedge like this might be somewhere down here at this support level or yeah support level right here we got support support and it's just like a nice little level it also lines up with the 50 percent level so what i'm looking at is maybe 2.42 trillion maybe if we come down i don't know maybe this will be the bottom and then we could get a bounce out like that but the thing that i'm looking at on this chart as well is we have resistance we have resistance right here and resistance right here. Let's do another trend line going to the downside like this. I think if we could break this trend line going to the upside, then that'll be a signal that maybe we're reversing and we're going to start heading back up possibly. I do like watching the 38% level, the 50% level. So, I mean, it's possible we even get bounces up here. Maybe what I'm thinking is we might get some volatility like this and then maybe drop to the 50% level and then bounce out. But that's just speculation. We'll have to wait and see on that. What I am looking at though is we do have a downtrend. So until we break this downtrend, then I don't know, we're gonna have to be, in my opinion, I'm targeting these Fibonacci levels. Hopefully we can get bounces on them. I like watching this chart because it's kind of like the big picture and it kind of trickles down into the other coins. So this kind of gives us an idea of what we can expect on the other coins. And I had been watching this rising wedge and it hadn't been broken. We've been wicking down like crazy almost every day. Like if you look at this chart, if we clear everything out, these candles all have wicks in them pretty much every day, going to the downside and the upside. But there's a lot of uh, wicks to the downside. I mean, you can just see all those wicks right there. So, yeah, I'd, we've, I'd been getting faked out in a, at a bunch of times, and this one, it finally we got we finally got a big red candle. So yeah, watching these trend lines, this is kind of one of those lessons you kind of have to learn is that when you're watching the trend line, you want to watch for the candle cl to close below it. And then the next candle is either a confirmation or it either comes back up and wicks back up. I mean, right here, we pretty much did the same thing. We had a trend line like this and then we broke below it, but it, the next candle went green and went straight back above it. Then we kind of formed this new pattern. We're going to have to see what kind of pattern we form in the meantime or next, should I say. If we zoom out though, we are getting higher lows and higher highs, which is a good signal. And also we broke above the all time high. Let's actually see if we can stay above this trend line right here where we have resistance right here and resistance right here, the two previous tops. Hopefully we can turn this resistance into support now and then bounce up off of this trend line right here possibly. This is sitting around 2.34. 2.4 trillion somewhere around there okay so if we jump back over to matic i'll be putting i'll be looking at limit orders at 1.497 or 1.50 and then 1.29 or maybe 1.30 let's see if we could come down and hit these limit orders and they got to bounce back to the upside what i really want to see us do is break these two trend lines right here and then we can start getting more bullish again let me know if you guys have any questions or if you agree or disagree if you guys like matic hit that thumbs up button